Hi guys, welcome back to Bemum Kitchen. And today we are making this really cool bomboloni. They are irresistibly light and delicious Italian donuts that are fried, coated in sugar, and traditionally stuffed with a pastry cream. Usually you will find this either stuffed with Nutella, fruit jam, or whipped cream like custard. I'm gonna do vanilla rum custard today. And they are so good. The donuts itself, so soft and fluffy. And these are completely homemade and easier than you imagine. And the great thing about this recipe, you even don't need to rice the dough twice. Anyways, they are so yummy, and I know you will love them, so let's get started. First off, we are gonna make the custard filling. In a bowl, combine sugar, egg yolk, along with cornstarch, whisk them together until the colors lighten and the texture thickens set aside. Then in the medium saucepan, pour in milk and vanilla extract. I prefer to use vanilla bean paste here. They are great for custard filling. It gives a very rich vanilla flavor. Place over medium heat until boil, and then whisk in one quarter cup of the hot milk mixture into the egg yolk mixture until it's incorporated. Then slowly drizzle in the remaining hot mixture while whisking. Strain the mixture back into the saucepan, and then place over medium high heat and cook while whisking until the mixture thicken and slowly boiling. Remove from the heat. Turn the mixture to remove tiny lumps. Add in your favorite rum. Mix well. Let the custard cool slightly. And then pour it into the piping bag, fit it with a medium-sized round tip, set aside. In the meantime, let's continue with the donut dough. In a large bowl, combine all the dry ingredients, bread flour, cake flour, instant yeast, baking powder, along with granulated sugar and mix that all through and then add in salt mix well please note that never let the yeast and salt touch one another without mixing first cause it will kill the yeast next I will continue with our wet ingredients pour in the water, milk and egg yolk mix until just combined and for the last ingredients add in margarine and creamy butter I use creamy butter instead of regular butter in this recipe because it has a higher fat content and rich, it really making everything taste better. Spread and fold the butter into the dough, and then let's do some work on. Feel free to use any mixture that available in your kitchen. I know nowadays making bread by hand seems like a lost art, but for me, the only way to know bread and dough is to get your hands in. So pour the mixture until work surface and start kneading the dough. You will know the dough is done mixing. If you touch the dough, it doesn't leave a lot of residue on your fingers and we can do the window pen test to make sure your gluten is sufficiently developed. It's basically taking a piece of dough and stretching it out and seeing if it holds up. If you hold it up to a light, you could be able to see my finger here. But if it tears when it's stretching out, that means it's not ready and you need to knead it a little bit longer. Dough is looking perfect. Roll them into a big smooth ball. Let it sit on the counter for about 10 minutes so the gluten can relax a little bit. And to speed up the process, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 90 degrees Celsius to create warm environment for proofing the dough later. While our gluten is chilling out, we are going to prepare our donut pan. Cut some whisk proof paper and grease them with a little bit of oil for the donut base. This paper will make us easier to handle the proof dough which is very soft after rising. And now our dough should be ready. Let's start forming our bombolini. I don't like to have any leftover dough, which is not gonna be able to re-roll. So I've decided to use this method by dividing the dough into six equal portions. It's about 58 grams each. And then I roll its pieces into a smooth ball. Hold and roll the dough with our hands in C shape. Give a little pressure to it. Keep rolling until it creates a smooth ball. After finish with all the dough, cover and let the dough rest for about 15 minutes. And then, 
place its dough onto a crisp paper. Using round flat surface, press the ball gently into a thick flat disc about 3 inches diameter each. Continue with the rest dough. And to get my donuts to rise, I like to place them in my preheated 90 degrees Celsius oven that has been turned off for about 20 minutes. You also can proof them at room temperature. Just make sure to cover them with a plastic wrap to prevent the dough dry. And they might need more time to rise. It depends on the room condition. Let all the donuts rise until noticeably puffy. I'm not sure if you need to go for a full out table, but they should look pretty darn fresh and happy. And if you simply touch them lightly with your fingertip and the indentation remains, that means they are ready to fry. Heat about 2 to 3 inches of vegetable oil in a heavy pot on the stove. Wait until it reaches between 350 and 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Then gently pick up our happy donuts and carefully place the top sides facing down into the hot oil. Cook about 60 to 90 seconds per side until they've got beautiful golden color on both sides. I personally like to use my kitchen tongs for flipping and removing. If you never made bread before, you have to try it sometime. It's really so much fun, and fresh homemade bread tastes amazing. Make sure you don't fry too many at once, because the temperature of the oil will drop too much, so the donuts will be really oily. You don't want that happen. Feel free to use electric drip fryer according to manufacturer's direction. Beautiful golden brown. Drain off the excess oil and transfer them to a line baking sheet. Then while they are still warm, pour some granulated sugar in a container. I like to mix them with some cinnamon powder here. To add more delightful taste, roll them around until completely coated in sugar. You know, I really can't wait to eat them. And to fill our tasty bobolone, poke a hole on the sides, create empty space inside the donuts. I am using my chopstick here. Small knife also works well. And then, push the tip into the small hole and squeeze to fill. Allow a little bit of the filling to spill out and show through the hole. See? It's looked really tempting. Now our bombolini should be ready. These look and smell amazing. They are really yummy and decadent as you can imagine. Look how soft and fluffy those are. And the rum vanilla custard. It's really really good. When serving bomboloni for dessert after an Italian meal, they usually pair it with a cup of espresso or even a sparkling red wine. I hope you give it a try, you are gonna love them. Thank you guys for spending your time with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for lots more cute and best recipes. Also, you can follow me on social media and Bamboom Kitchen. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys!